Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Sunday, the 1st of December. Good Lord, only a month left of this year. Well, it's been raining off and on all day today. At the moment, it's not raining. Uh, last night, um, about an hour, well, actually, when we went in the house, after uh, we said the goodbye vlog, it was 31 degrees. I knew it was cold out there when we were saying that goodbye. And then uh, it was about an hour or so later, it was um, 28 degrees, and I could hear the rain pounding on the roof. Rain. Now, I didn't come out here and go roaming around to see if it was falling and hitting the ground. As, as, what are you doing, Danny? <laughs> You're up to no good to see if, uh, if it was freezing rain, but it was hitting the roof as wet rain. And then uh, by the time I went to bed last night, it was like 32, and that's too close. Usually it's got to be below freezing. Not always, but anyway, it's just been kind of a wet day. I've been fighting for the last couple hours. This crazy headache I can't seem to shag. But uh, anyway, I'll come out here and goof around for a little bit. Andy, are you stuck in your rain spot? It's all gravel out here. You can see the rut she's put in there over the, over the years. And then in the summertime, I need to till that thing up so it's not a hole. But... Uh, in the summertime, they they build these little nesting holes to lay in when it's super hot. They're a bunch of meatheads. Crazy old Annie. So, um, Friday, before I test rode, yeah, it was before I test rode the uh, Challenger, I went to uh, to get a drill motor because I, I needed a corded drill to uh, um, do the recall on the, uh, that BMW G310R. Um, I'd just been borrowing other techs, but <laughs> I took the wrong exit off of SR500 there in Vancouver. Oh, dadgummit, so I'm trying to find a good place to turn around and head back towards SR500, and I pass this car wash. <laughs> yep, that is the same truck. So the car, I mean, it was so dirty, it, it left a spot on the ends just inside the tailgate so when i got home i uh i cleaned that up and then when i got to look and i'm like look at all the all the areas the seams and stuff like that in the truck and then look at, <laughs> look at that back window it didn't even touch that so i'm gonna do a little detailing out here look at the roof it just left a skunk trail which I'd rather the machine miss something than to sneak under and, and bust something up. But, uh, oh, and I was able to take a good look at the area where I smacked the, the, uh, um, grocery cart there at the Vancouver mall outside the eye center thing there. And there's not even a scuff. So it must have hit. Honda uses this magical plastic on here. The uh, element had that on it too. And I think it'll take a beating like no other. Must have hit it with that. Made a loud noise, but it didn't damage anything. <laughs> what a knucklehead. You have no idea. Over my lifespan, my, my, or lifespan of driving, how many grocery carts I've hit. It's just a weird thing. It's, and it's always a similar thing to this. I had this old Chevy van that I used for road racing. And the same thing, the cart would be too close. And I didn't, like this, the cart was literally lower than the hood line. I couldn't see it. <laughs> and it was behind the sensors, so the sensors didn't warn me. And then Kelly, <laughs> Kelly at the time was blind as a bat, so she didn't see it. All right, let me do a little detailing on this thing. Only problem is I can't get on that side of the truck, so it needs to be not raining. And I hate to do this to it, but first thing in the morning, she's going to drive away. But I'm going to fire her up and put her in the garage backwards. <laughs> All right. Or just move it over far enough, but then it runs into issues with hitting my DR and stuff. The doors swing open kind of wide. Believe it or not, this is the same truck. But this is only one half of it. Haven't done the uh, the front of the truck or the uh, right side. But look at that. And now it's going to rain for the foreseeable future, so let's go ahead and wash the truck. At least we're gonna start off fresh. Ah, dang, look at that thing. 
Yeah, buddy. <laughs> well, about three hours and 45 minutes later, she's done. She's like new again. And almost the whole time, <laughs> it's been raining out there. It's raining out there now. But she's like new. And I don't miss anything when I clean them. I even put the tire shine on there. And needless to say, you take the shine out of the tire shine. I don't want to look like a legally blind 80-year-old dude went out there and drove off with his tires shiny. It cracks me up when you see people do that. Nobody, but nobody, leaves their tires shiny. That's a like a used car lot trick. And I see those guys driving out of there and I'm going, Oh my God, Kelly, look, the tires are shining. She's going, Oh, can you believe it? It's, it's amazing that people don't realize that it's like something you just don't do. So why do they sell it as a shiner? Why is it always tire shine? Everybody does the same thing. You just take a towel and wipe it off and it goes away. Look at me in my skivvies and stuff. <laughs> Man, she's got some battle wounds from all the the log trucks to tossing crap at us. What a mess. In the, the windshield that you guys love to cry about. You wouldn't believe how many more wax are in that thing. Little tiny cracks everywhere. Let me ask you, what do you think I look to when I drive off on this thing? And do you realize I delete it every time you guys leave a comment about that? Do you think I'm blind? I know my insurance pays for it. But uh, I keep waiting until it's nice. Well, I went right through the summer and didn't do it. <laughs> But now it's winter time, and every time we drive out of here, ding, bang, whack. I said, yep, not doing the windshield yet. Proud of the old Honda. She's looking shiny and new again. Have I filmed anything but the Honda yet today? I don't think I have. That's pretty much been my vlog, filming the Honda. You have no idea the blood, sweat, and tears that went in between turning this camera on. <laughs> Whew, that was a job. But she's nice and pretty again. Why is it every time I go turn the camera on, the he heater comes on? Um, well, I apologized yesterday for shooting so low. I forgot I have to raise the camera a little bit on this thing when uh, um, when it's cold out. Because I squint a little bit so the air flows right over my head. I love the uh, shorter windshield. But it does have its drawbacks from time to time. Sure was fun riding this old gal yesterday. When I come out here to pull the thing out, I uh, somehow never never plugged the uh, hey, <laughs> I never plugged the uh, a battery tender into it or the Optimate Three. Got old Street or Street Glide. Still need to take that out, but when it's cold, you definitely don't want to be riding that thing because it's like a the old classic riding a stingray bicycle down the highway. There's like no wind protection on it, but it's still fun. The old DR. Sure are good bikes. Or if they'll make a 2020. It's probably already announced there is a 2020. Well, get the little woman out here so she can eyeball it. She, her side of the windshield, she cleaned the windshield when I was, I think it's when I went somewhere and uh, <laughs> she didn't get it all. She actually made a bigger mess than, than cleaning it. And uh, I don't notice it because I'm never on the passenger side, but she was pointing that thing out the other day and I'm like, dang, woman. I said, that's really bad. She goes, I told you I couldn't see you out of it. I said, yeah, I didn't realize it was that bad. Something about them hogs. Something special. Anyway. All right. I guess I'll I'll call it quits. I hear it trinkling rain out there. Dead gimmick. The little woman seeing it for the first time. My little helper, Danny. Come. I know. It's been a minute, huh? Yeah. Look inside. I even got your. You're gonna have to go over that way. You got your your dash and 
Got your inside window that's been dirty for a while. Got that all yeah, clean. Can see it, yeah, yeah. Totally. Look at the dash and stuff in there too. I didn't vacuum it. It's kind of about as pointless as uh, washing it today to clean the inside. <laughs> That'll work, huh? Yeah. Well. All right. You want to do a little, a little goodbye for the folks? The whole vlog is me working on this truck. I think that's what it is anyway. I don't think I recorded anything else, but that's what I did today. Did a bunch of stuff on the computer this morning and come roaming out here. There's some other things I did, but that wasn't recorded. What do you think, Danny? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> All righty. I'm not going to say hello there, YouTube. No, we were just I, here. <laughs> I just turned the phone off and made sure my hat was straight and... Turn yeah. the camera on. <laughs> so um, I hope that wasn't too boring working on the truck today. But that was my only film-worthy stuff for the day. Yeah. It's very fun. Uh, I'm, my arms are probably going to be sore tomorrow with the whole karate yeah. kid, you know, you wax wipe on, on. wax off. Yeah. I had a lot of that going on today. So it's weird that, you know, the truck looks so clean. But then as you started detailing it, wow, it was a mess. That's crazy. Yeah, the inside's the same. Well, I know the floors and stuff are. But the dash, just because Kelly uses Kleenexes. Oh, and they just put that white everywhere. lint everywhere, you know. So that was all over everything inside there. So it just kind of wipe off. And then the windshield, you know, over time, you're, especially in the wintertime when you're closed in. You you know, even though the car vents all the time, you end up with that like almost like layer. smoker's yeah. scum on the inside. We don't ever smoke inside there. No. Nobody smokes inside of my cars. Don't smoke in a house yeah. or my dad, a car. My dad did that with that old green pickup truck, and I think it's still got residue inside yeah. there all these years yeah, you later. you can't get that stuff off. Yeah, it, it's crazy. It's horrid. But anyway, I think we're going to cut it short. I, but did you have, you were just kind of, she was binge watching the Hallmark Christ yes. Chris Channel Christmas things it's today. It's Christmas in Rome right now, and that sucker is good. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to somebody. Oh, uh, um, our our brother-in-law. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's your sister's husband, so he'd be my brother-in-law, your brother-in-law. Okay. Yeah. Always get to, always have to stop and think about those things. You guys I ever know do that? It. But uh, anyway, I think we'll make the goodbye short and sweet and roll on out. All right. I'll keep saying that until it's like three or four minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Monday or Tuesday. Heck yeah. Back to the old grind. Yep. No turkey days to interrupt the week or anything like that. No, it's just going to be a long, long Just straight week. through. Kelly and I, when we got off work on Friday, that was literally the longest day I can remember, oh, like, yeah. in years, it seems like. Yeah, I, I was just done. It was, was slow. Tired. Everybody's out doing their... You know, Black Friday thing. It was it was a very slow day, and nobody was there. It was uh, Ryan upstairs, Kurt and I downstairs, and just a handful of parts people. Well, all the parts people. Yeah. Because it was Black Friday, but anyway, we've already said our goodbye. Let's roll yes. out. All right. See you in the morning. You guys take care. See you now. Bye. Bye bye.